Hey, Peter Vexelman. So today I want to talk to you about a question that I get asked all the time, especially in this business where we work with so many people. And the question is this, Pete, what kind of people should I hire? What kind of people should I bring on to help me do whatever? Maybe what, what kind of negotiator should I hire? What kind of inspector should I hire? You know, what kind of marketing people should I bring on? What kind of realtor should I work with? You know, what kind of contractor should I use with, you work with? Um, you know, I need an assistant, who should I hire? And so in, in this business, there's really no shortage of people that you ultimately need, especially the bigger you get. Even CEOs, you know, ultimately you're gonna get to a point, hopefully you're, where you're so successful in this business that you're gonna have, you know, a CEO running your whole operation while you're out there, you know, gallivanting throughout the whole world. So where you find your people is a question that really many times depends on what position you're hiring for. For instance, I've always found that kind of at the, uh, maybe kind of, I don't know if it's a good word, but bottom rung positions, you know, your, your negotiators, your inspectors, those people you can get off Craigslist. You know, higher ups people, you may have to work with staffing agencies, uh, maybe with more sophisticated websites. But the type of person, whether you're at the very bottom rung hiring somebody, or you're hiring at someone else, I will tell you the top of the line people I've ever hired are the people that are passionate about what you're doing. They have to absolutely buy in to what you are all about, what your company is all about. You won't, you, you, to a certain degree, here's how it works. There's two, there's two sides of hiring somebody. One is when you're kind of sort of chasing after someone. You're selling yourself to them, you're selling your company to them, you're selling the opportunity to them, you're selling, 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 selling in hopes of getting that right person. And make no mistake about it, there are some people worthy doing that towards, for. But then there's that other side, the side where it almost feels like you, <laughs> This person is overly aggressive in terms of wanting the job, wanting the opportunity, wanting to be with you. So let me give you two examples of, of what's happened in, in my personal career as it relates to those, uh, and, and, and I think this is the best way to bear that example, so, to bear that point, and that's this. One of my top salespeople I've ever had, um, this is years ago, and I want to use an example from years ago and one current example just to let you know that this theory that this philosophy never changes. But many years ago, uh, I was hiring for uh, salespeople to basically sell my inventory. And back then I was doing a lot of group interviews, meaning we'd run ads, we'd bring in you know five to 10 salespeople into a room, I'd kind of go through the whole presentation, what we do, so after the presentation I would go into a, a separate room and do maybe five to 10 minute one-on-ones with people and then go from that, pro from go, go, you know, kind of follow the process along till I basically weeded out the wrong people and hopefully stuck with the right person. But I still remember, this is years, this is again, seven, eight years ago, uh, I had one of those interviews and there was a young lady in the crowd, her name was Cheryl. And, and she didn't necessarily stand out from anyone else. She didn't necessarily ask any unbelievable questions, but here's what she did. Somehow she found out my home number that night. And around eight or nine o'clock at night, she called me at home, okay? And for the next 10, 15 minutes, she proceeded to tell me how bad she wanted this position, what she was gonna do, when she got this position, how fortunate the company would be as a result of her. I mean, she, she apt, there was no question when we were done, beyond even her abilities, beyond her talents, I knew this is somebody that was passionate about that position. She became ultimately one of my best salespeople I've ever had. She literally sold hundreds upon hundreds of properties for me. Let me give you another example, a current life example of, of, of my current, of Julie Hicks, who many of you know, uh, I talk about, she's done a number of videos with me. She's pretty much the, she's basically the CEO of, of, of my operation. Uh, and I still remember when I interviewed her. And after the interview, literally from the parking lot, which is just an office uh, building uh, not too far away from, from here, from the parking lot, she started texting me. And I think from the time she left that, parking lot when I interviewed her till that night I got no less than probably five to ten text messages from her attempts to call me you know I, I picked up the phone once or twice you know finally and, and and again she was selling me on her she was passionate 
She was sold out. She was all in. See, those are the people that you want to chase, not, not really not chase, those are the people you want to get. When somebody is over the top bongers, they want this position, they want to work with you, they, they buy in 100% of what you're doing. See, in the end, let's face it, it's hard to tell someone's talent from their resume, from even how do they interview. But any day, I'm gonna err on the side of passion, conviction, all in, do whatever it takes to get this position than somebody that I'm basically having to sell into this position. So when you're bringing people on, whether it's your assistants, whether you're negotiators, marketing people, whatever it is, we all use the same people in this business, look for passion, look for conviction. When you're done talking to them, when you're done interviewing them, the number one thing, I, even, I do that all the time now. When I talk to somebody brand new, I check my phone for the next couple hours. Are they gonna blow up my phone? Are they gonna text me? Are they gonna email me are they gonna call me those are the people almost bar none that end up being the superstars hey I hope that helps hey you guys know what we do here we do a ton of deals and and I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I coach people just like you to help become very very successful real estate investors so if you're a buyer or you know other buyers literally all over the world that are looking for deals in the Georgia market specifically concentrated towards Atlanta you need to be on our buyers list by now you'll see my email scrolling across the screen send me an email just say add me to the buyers list and on a daily basis you're going to get some terrific both roi and equity driven deals uh, emailed right directly to you the other thing if you're looking to become a successful investor whether you're brand new just getting started or whether you're doing it already and you're looking to be a, a bigger more sophisticated more savvy investor i know i could help you do that again you could either send me an email to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching program or better yet, right below this video, there's a link, coachingbypeter.com. You can go straight there and learn more about how I could help you become very successful in this industry.